Welcome to the Biblical Hermeneutics course. I'm very happy to, to meet you through this means and to be able to, to lead you into what it will be a group exploration of a fascinating topic on, on Biblical Hermeneutics. The course is not so much a course on principles, methods and ways of doing exegesis of the text as it is a, uh, an exploration, a study of the process of understanding and the presuppositions and what is called in some places the hermeneutical circles and spirals. So I hope that this will be a good experience for you as we explore together how to read, teach and interpret better God's Word. We will start with Padilla's hermeneutical circle. That's an article that I recommend you to read uh, slowly and carefully because it's a foundational document for all the course. It's one of those documents that is very rich and even though it is dated, uh, you will find it quite significant and rich in terms of the different issues that the document touches. So read it carefully and I'll just give you a quick preview of some of the main ideas you're going to find. The circle, as you see in this uh, slide, uh, represents the phenomenon of understanding scriptures. And for Padilla, there are four main elements for the for this circle or spiral, as he will also say. The first one is the reader, you and me, and our historical situation you will see how important it is to understand the way that the historical situation in which we are placed affects our reading of scriptures. He then goes to speak of course of, of the text of the Bible, of scriptures, as our object of, of study and how we relate to that. In that uh, reading of scriptures we are always doing that through our world and life view, or as some people will call it, the cosmovision, the way that we look at the world. And that's the mediating reality between the reader, us, and the scriptures. We always go to the biblical text through the world and life view with which we have grown and we have been developing in our in our life and that has a many a lot of components that you are going to explore in this article and as we do that we also come from a reading of scriptures to the to our historical situation with a theology with an understanding of scriptures that we apply to that uh, historical reality. So that's, uh, in summary, the way that Padilla sees the phenomenon of reading and interpreting scriptures. 